All right, getting lots of good questions about how to measure for a drive shaft adapter. So in this video, I'm going to uh, run through that super quick. This is not a ultra precise thing. It does not need to be because there's about a 10 millimeter variance in these sizes. So you can just round and you will be fine. So wh what we need to do is find the center of this hole to the center of that hole. So if we look at this hole, I'm going to round up to 24. I'm going to write that down. Again, that's that's half the diameter, right? That's the radius. If we look at this hole. That's going to be it's 12 millimeters, 12 and a half, but I'm going to call that six. Again, looking at the radius. And then if we look at the actual distance between the holes, now we have. 20. Alright, so in total we have a 50 millimeter spread from the center of this hole to the center of this hole. So this happens to be our 90 to 100 millimeter adapter. I have, I think, a 110 to 100 also, and I have that in a drive shaft adapter, which is the same thing, only thinner. That's the only one I have a drive shaft adapter for because. Most people don't have anything else that I've run into. All right, so let's go ahead and put the flange on there. Sure enough, you see it, it fits perfect and everything mates up as you would expect. So again, you don't need to be ultra precise. If this is on the car, you can still do this, right? Even with the nub sticking out of the differential, you can still get a pair of calipers under there. World's cheapest calipers from Amazon. Everything else has a dead battery. But uh, you can see just rounding out, you get um, what you need in terms of a diameter. And that's if this whole pattern extended around, that would be this diameter. So there you go. Thanks for watching.